Is it too late for Banjo 3E? Banjo-Tooie is the most recent 3D platformer in the Banjo series, with its predecessor banjo one releasing three years prior in 1998. Both games are beloved by fans, and for good reason. If you've never put a rotisserie chicken in your backpack and thrown eggs at gorillas, you might not get it, but the games hold a special place in the hearts of many. That's in no small part due to a brilliant combination of unique humor, game mechanics, and a Grant Kirkhope soundtrack that I still jam out to to this very day. I mean, come on! Listen to that! And while the series and main characters largely carry over from one to the other, the games can be enjoyed as their own standalone adventures. You can set out to save your sister in Banjo-Kazooie, exploring the entirety of the heinous hag Gruntilda's admittedly impressive domain, complete with a ton of neat worlds, each featuring their own set of unique puzzles, mechanics, and enemies, all culminating in a vicious board game to the death before saving... No, spoiler alert, I mean, the game is old enough to rent a car, so that's probably unnecessary, but no. It all culminates with a battle to the death that was a tad more difficult than I would have expected for a game rated E for everyone. Now, if that's not your jam, you can skip it and head straight to Tui where the old hag still lives. Sort of. I mean, she's not in great shape, but she's better off than I would be. Man, I tell you, I dropped a can of corn on my foot yesterday. Anyways, Banjo-Tooie follows a similar mold with various worlds to explore, though this time they're scattered about the greater Isle of Hags continent, with a new, expanded, and entertaining slate of game mechanics and even more game show action to warm you up for the penultimate showdown. Truly, both of these games are downright masterpieces. So with all this going for it, what happened? Well, I mean, all we can do is speculate, but many consider Microsoft's acquisition of Rare in 2002 a major reason for killing the project, with some stating that Microsoft's gaming direction alongside the perceived decline in platform popularity made producing the game a financial risk. After Nuts and Bolts was released on the Xbox 360 to a very mild reception and disappointing commercial output, well, the Banjo-Kazooie duo seems down and out. That said, I still hold out hope for Banjo 3. I may be blind. I may be an optimist. I may be a blind optimist. I may be insane. But when I ask that, is it too late for Banjo 3? I say the answer is no. Keep on believing, my Banjo friends. And if we make enough noise or spend enough dollars on 3D platformers, good things are bound to happen. Or we'll all go broke. Either way, all we can do is hope that Nintendo and Rare will reunite and again produce the bird bear combo that we all love and miss so much. I'm LP, I play Nintendo games, and I talk a lot. And if you're into that, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.